Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix the weird stuttering and shuddering link and also potentially boost and stabilize your frame rate when playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on CMU Emulator. Okay, first of all, let's take a quick look at the exact problem I am going to be showing you how to fix. Okay, so this is Zelda Breath of the Wild running on my 3770K system. As you can tell, the problem is not that noticeable when the camera is behind Link. However, well that's perfect timing, uh, let's just kill this guardian and I can continue my explanation of this exact problem. Okay, so back on topic. As you can see, when I run sideways, you can clearly see that Link is vibrating and slightly stuttering up and down. Now this also becomes very apparent when you are using your paraglider as your player character will slightly vibrate up and down and it is very very noticeable and distracting. Now let's switch over to these new static FPS packs which I am going to be giving you. As you can see, we no longer have this weird stuttery problem or link vibrating up and down as we previously had. These new graphics packs also fix these same issues when we use our paraglider. Now before we go too much further, let's take a look at the description of these new graphics packs from one of its creators, Epigram. This is based on an extreme simplification of the FPS++ mod by Zalfanos. It drops dynamic FPS in order to give us back stability. Creator Rako's best fence method is also included for performance and stability in this graphics pack. It improves over the previous static FPS mod because it allows any value as a static FPS target and it also includes a fix for the weird stamina regeneration bugs. Now that that explanation's out of the way, I'm going to show you exactly what graphics pack you should use for best performance on your own PC. Okay, so as you can see there are a lot of different graphics packs listed right here. For example, if your PC can only get a maximum of 18 FPS, you should use this 18 FPS version of this graphics pack. If you can guaranteeingly reach 30 FPS at all times, you should use this 30 FPS graphics pack, and so on and so forth for all of the other graphics packs. If I was to sum up what these graphics packs are trying to attain, it would be this. They are trying to give you maximum stability for your frame rate when playing Breath of the Wild on CMU Emulator. For example, on my 7700K system, I can basically get 60 FPS at all times using FPS++. However, due to the variable way that FPS++ works, from time to time my FPS will drop down to around 54 or 55. When testing between these two different graphics packs between the static 60 FPS version that is listed down in the description and FPS++, I had much better stability and performance in game when using this 60 FPS static graphics pack. At the end of the day however, it is still up to you how you want to play your game. If you wish to use these graphics packs, as I said, they will be listed down in the description, the forum post which I showed earlier on will be linked, allowing you to download whichever of these graphics packs you wish to use and test them out for yourself. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.